Wisconsin has been a key swing state for a number of years in four of the last six presidential races. The race has been decided by less than 25,000 votes statewide, less than one percentage point. We're certainly on a path to be there again this year. But we've also been the pivotal state in the Electoral College majority. Wisconsin has been the state that tipped the Electoral College to the winner in both 2016 and 2020 and is on track to be, if not the pivotal state, one of the most competitive states in the country. We're seeing in our state polling consistently a lot of emphasis on immigration and the southern border and on the economy. And on both of those, Donald Trump holds a strong advantage over Joe Biden. But we see Biden with advantages when it comes to health care, Medicare, Social Security, and abortion policy. However, Biden's advantages on those issues aren't as large as Trump's advantages on the border and uh, the economy. Third parties can easily play a role in Wisconsin elections. When we're decided by under 25,000 votes, any third party candidate is a real threat to get more than that. So theoretically, third parties can certainly matter. The question is, who do they take more votes away from, the Republican or the Democrat? What we've seen in our polling this year is that Robert Kennedy Jr. actually takes a little more of a percentage of the vote from Republicans than he does from Democrats. But Green Party candidate Jill Stein here in Wisconsin takes many more votes away from Democrats than she does from Republicans. Uh, and independent Cornell West gets a smaller share, but again, mostly from Democrats. In terms of who the nominee is, Wisconsin's primary does not matter. But it is an opportunity for supporters of Trump and supporters of Biden to come and show that support by turning out and voting for their preferred candidate. And for those factions within each party who are not happy with the nominees, it's a chance to express that dissatisfaction by voting uninstructed on the Democratic side or voting for one of the other candidates on the Republican side who are still on the ballot.